So the Cappuccino Handicap next in, and we've only got four runners in this, so <laughs> it's one of those long distance handicap, class five, two and a half mile handicap. Let's put a few hurdles in and make it a bit more interesting. Top one is Lion Shaw, James Follis, Larwood Vale, Doug Warren, Light Dunno in Darren House, and Lady Quell, Colin Clark. There's four people that won't be the slightest bit bothered because they know they're all going to be picking up some prize money and they've got a good chance of a winner. So away they go then. And is it going to be? That takes them along. Lady Quell in the green on the inside. Lions Hall on the outside, and then Light Dunno in, in third, and Larwood Vale in fourth. So it's Formula One Follis from Colin Clark, and Darren Howells from Doug Warren at the moment. Then, so which one of them is going to take the win? Lady Quill and Lions Hall running together. A small gap to Light Dunno in, and Larwood Vale is after that one. Shout out to Darren Howells, your horse can't fall in this race, so you can't moan at me if it does, because it's uh, it'd be nothing to do with me. If it, if it was to fall in a flat race, it, you couldn't call it, well, you, I suppose you could really. You could say it was a jinx, so hopefully it will do okay. And um, Lady Quell's the leader, Lions Hall is in second, Light Dunno is in third, and Larwood Vale is fourth. So it's been another good week, and... Grand National, of course, yesterday, what an exciting race that was, and uh, everybody's seen Paul Road since, he's apparently been disappearing off down from Irish High Street with a couple of bottles of champagne and a couple of floozies, and we haven't seen him since, so I don't know what's happened there, so Lady Quill's in the lead, Lions All is in second, then Light Dunno in his third, and Larwood Vale is in fourth, and nobody's seen Doug either, apparently he got captured by a of likely Liverpool ladies the other night after finishing his commentaries and um, hopefully they'll send him back when they're finished with him and um, I think Steve managed to avoid any any problems but it's Lady Quell in the lead from Lions Hall in second and Light Dunno in third Lowell Vale is in fourth if you're a player that doesn't use the forums very much, and you're a new player that doesn't use the forums very much, go and use the forums very much, because there's a lot of interesting stuff in there, and one of the top trainers, Joshua Sutherland, has put a great post up today, which will give everybody a big boost in starting their um, breeding campaigns off, so that they can be competitive in their first seasons, and there's been a couple of people that have done all right in their first season this year, Carl Aragante, or Taunton, or Daniel, as we know him, has in the, in the forums, has had plenty of winners in his first season, so you can do it, and um, join in the, the fun and the banter on there, because it's uh, it's pretty good, and pop in a live stream if you get the chance as well, because that's always, that's always good for a bit of a laugh, but let's get back to the race, with only seven furlongs to go, and Lady Quell's in the lead. Lions Hall is second, Light Dunno in his third, and Lowell Vale's back in fourth. One last quick plug, because this might be the last long distance race I've got today. And Lions Hall comes up on the outside of Lady Quill, then late Light Dunno in and Lowell Vale. And that is that there's a date been set for the new season, which I think is about the middle of November, I can't remember exactly. Um, so you've got three months or so to get yourself a good stable put together. So start today, go straight into that forum, read that post from... Joshua Sutherland, who's called Githy Yankee on there. I don't know what that means or why, but I'm sure he'll tell you if you ask him. And get yourself started. And it's Lady Quill in the lead then from Lions Hall in second. Like Dunno in his third. Lowell Vale is back in fourth place. And I think Doug thinks that one needs a three and a half mile flat race. But it's running on at the moment. And Lady Quell's the leader still then with just three and a half furlongs to go. Lady Quell's in front. Lions Hall is second. Light Dunno in his third. And then Larwood Vale is in fourth. The race is on now. And the final three furlongs. Lady Quell's in front. Light Dunno is the first one to come through to seriously challenge. Lions Hall's the first one that looks under serious pressure. Larwood Vale is running on. And it's Lady Quell who's got the front. And Lady Quell's got the lead. And can they get past her? Light Dunno is the one that looks the most likely at the moment. But Larwood Vale is running on well from the back, 
Lion Souls are one that probably doesn't look like he's got anything left to give, but now he switches to the outside and makes me sound like a complete Herbert, which will make a lot of people smile. And Lion Soul is now the one that's throwing down a big challenge to Lady Quill in the shadow of the post, and here comes Light Glowwood Vein on the outside, and it's Lion Soul, the only Oz I said that couldn't win. He's got to get up and win it, I think, or he's not going to pop him on the line. Goodness gracious me. What a race that was. Neil was me waffling about nonsense and saying how boring it was going to be. And it turned out to be a spectacular finish, totally ruined by the commentator. And I don't know which one of them is won, you know. That says Lions Hall, but I've been caught out once this week by a photo finish being a dead heat. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's one as well. Goodness me. It's a, it's a win for Lion's Horse, certainly not by that distance suggested there. Uh, bad luck for Doug, coming second Lowell Vale, but well done James Forrest, Lion's Horse, who was plugging around last season, had a bit of good form. Lady Quell was third, and Light Dunham was fourth, and Darren Howells is going to stick more pins in that dolly's got on me.